Buying a new car is the worst decision you'll ever make and here's why. What's up everyone, my name is Joris, welcome back to my finance channel. Buying a brand new car is a horrible decision. It is one of the worst types of investment you'll ever make in your lifetime. And yet, almost everyone does it. But why? It is actually better to overpay 10% for a real estate project than buying a new car. Why? Because a car will lose its value over time and it will lose its value fast. Are all cars money sinks? Well, no, not all cars, but most of them will burn a hole in your pocket. You should never buy a new car, period. It all boils down to the essence of investing. Buy assets and avoid liabilities. As you know, liabilities will cost you money. Even if they look great or they give you joy, liabilities are still money sinks and should be avoided at all costs. There is no use in buying the newest and biggest phone on the market or buying the most expensive car in the street. Sure, you'll enjoy it for a while, but you will pay for it for years. And you can take that quite literally. If you're paying off your car for years, you're effectively losing money all those years. And even if you manage to buy the car cash in hand in one go, the opportunity cost will come back and haunt you. But I get it, expensive cars look cool and you want to look cool. Car companies spend millions of euros and dollars to get this perception to you. Luxury car brands provide exclusivity, a status symbol, they boost your self-esteem and they provide a higher consumer experience. But consider this. Have you ever seen an expensive car? Well, most likely you have. But did you really notice the driver at that moment? Most likely not. But if you did notice the person, you probably thought, whoa, he must be a jerk driving such a fancy car. Well, the same goes for you when you are driving an expensive car. You might think you look cool in it, but people won't notice you. They will notice your car, sure. And even if they notice you, they won't think you're cool. Quite the opposite, really. Often people misinterpret the status they earn by buying a luxury car. The perception of the car owner is completely different or completely the opposite of what the bystanders think. So the added value of the car is only in your own mind and it doesn't get translated to the outside world. A study in Finland has proven that luxury cars are bought by in their words, disagreeable and conscientious people. As the paper says, certain personality traits, such as low agreeableness, may be associated with both unethical driving behavior and with driving a high status car. So if you're buying a luxury car because you want to come across as a cool person, think again, because the perception of others might not be what you expected. Anyway, I'm not saying you can't buy a luxury brand car. If you want one, be my guest and go buy one. But be aware of the opportunity cost. Be aware of the money you are leaving on the table. This YouTube channel is about money and finance, so I'm not going to talk about the different brands of cars, but I am going to talk about the financing of those cars and about their future value right after you hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm, of course. As a popular saying goes, your car is worth 25% less the second you drive it off the dealer's lot. And this statement does hold truth to it. Studies have shown that luxury cars lose value over the years and they lose that value extremely fast. According to this data of Autoscout24 in Germany, a Mercedes-Benz S-Class loses nearly 30% of its value in the first year. After three years, it has lost 50% of its value. So newly bought, on average, the car cost 125,000 euros. And after three years, you're lucky to get 60,000 euros for it. And this price keeps dropping rapidly and the car is worth only 25,000 euros after 10 years of age. That is one fifth of the original price. If we don't include gas prices, insurances, which are high for high-end cars, upkeep, taxes, and everything else, and we only look at the resale value, that specific car costs you 35,000 euros in the first year, 22,500 euros in the second year, and 14,000 euros in the third year. After 10 years, you're down 100,000 euros if you want to sell your car at that time. And that is an average of 10,000 euros per year, or almost 850 euros per month, without any costs of use. What a waste of money. 
The IRS in America did a study on the costs of the use of the cars. They concluded that it costs around 32 cents per kilometer. If we then exclude the depreciation of the value, you are left with 22 cents per kilometer. According to studies in Belgium, the average driver drives 15,000 kilometers per year. That is a total cost of 3,300 euros per year. Now, this cost is basically the same for all brands of cars. A bit more or a bit less depending on the size of your car, the horsepower it has and other specifications. But still, as you can see, the depreciation value of cars is the main factor where money is lost. But what about the cheaper cars? Well, here's the same study as before, but now with the Volkswagen Golf, the most popular car on the second-hand market in Germany. It is worth around 25,000 euros new, but it also loses value over time due to the depreciation. But of course, a lot slower than the luxury brand cars. After three years of use, only 35% of the value was lost, compared to the 50% of the luxury brand. But since the initial buying cost is also a lot lower with the Volkswagen, you are actually losing a lot less money over time. Only after five to six years, the Volkswagen will have lost half of its value. Now, since all brands of cars lose a lot of money in the first years after being bought as brand new cars, you might want to consider avoid losing this biggest part of investment. You can avoid it by just buying a second-hand car when it reaches three or five years of age, since the biggest drop of value has happened in that time. Since cars are on average being kept running for at least a decade before they require major upkeep costs, you are well off buying a car for half the price of a new one, keeping it for five years and rinsing and repeating and saving a lot of money in the process. Some people decide to keep their car for even longer periods of time and they are able to sell their cars after a few years at the same price they bought it at or even at a higher price they initially bought it at. And that is a good investment. You can also wait until your car turns 25 or 30 years old. At this point it is eligible to be branded as a, as a classic car and collectors might want to buy it for their collection or they want to use it sporadically under the lower taxation for classic cars. But that is a topic for another video. Hopefully you'll now see why it is extremely expensive to buy a new car. Of course there are exceptions where buying a new car can be a great investment or great idea. If you buy your car via your company it can be a good, good way to, to be more tax efficient because the big costs of the car can be nullified by your accountant. But remember that all the money you lose in depreciation of liabilities was better spent in assets. If you had bought a 5 year old Mercedes at 50,000 euros instead of a new one at 125,000 euros, that 75,000 euros difference invested in the stock market would have made you a lot of money. And if you went for the 5 year old Volkswagen, you'd only be down 12,000 euros instead of 125,000 euros. That is a lot of money for the stock market or other asset investments, of course. However, there are always exceptions when buying cars. An example are the one-of-a-kind cars, luxury cars that are so rare, there are only a handful uh, being made. Those cars keep their value and often shoot up in value over time in the first few years. I know a few people who have bought cars for 500,000 euros each and they keep their cars in heated garages, guarded garages and they sell their cars after a few years for 600,000 euros or more. At this point I don't consider them cars anymore but more objects of art or collection. Other examples are of course classic cars but they're already old when you buy them. Again it all boils down to the essence of investing. Buy assets and not money-eating liabilities. Be smart with your money and your investments. Don't forget to like the video for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed already. Hit the notification bell to be alerted when a new video comes out. I thank you for watching and until next time.